since I was doing this and I was going to do it right, I went and got the best one, of course. So this is our... Nice. <laughs> this is our unboxing of the One X Player 2 6800U Ryzen 7 processor. This is an exciting day because a little while ago, the company that I absolutely love and I have been using their products for I think just over a year now, the One X Player put out an Indiegogo campaign where they were looking for backers because they were getting ready to launch a One X Player 2, which is what I had been waiting for for a long time. Now, if you remember the story of this, I actually purchased it on Amazon. I paid a ridiculous amount of money for so, it. What had happened was I actually purchased it on Amazon and I, like within a week of purchasing on Amazon, I did find somebody who was selling one used on Facebook Marketplace. And so I did find somebody that was selling their, their model here. They sold it to me for half, half the price of what the new one cost me on Amazon. So I returned the Amazon one and I ended up keeping this one and I had been using it for a good bit of a year. What I wanted to do was bring out the original as a little comparison to like serve as a comparison for the new one. So I have here the box of the original. This is the original one, one X player. And this is everything that it came with. So the original one came with this nice braided cable that says one on it. If you can read that, it says one. And then it came with a charger, which was just this, where did I put it? This like little 40 watt, just brick charger that connects to this braided cable. So that went in there. And so that was the entire setup. And so the player itself is right here. So this was the player itself. Ooh, I'm, I'm shiny. You can see me. Ooh. No. So, and then of course I added the little satisfy thumb caps for the joysticks. So this is the original 1X player. 1X player featured an 8.4 inch screen, an Intel i7 665U processor, which is just the mobile processor, and Intel XE graphics right there. Oh, that's the Core i7, right? So it's a chunky boy because it's it's a full-fledged computer in a handheld factor. So can, if you can imagine like the ultra portables, like your Lenovo's, actually like, like any of those over there, an ultra portable computer, just like one of those, but now in a form factor that can fit in the palm of your hand, that was this, that is this, right? And then I also have the Steam Deck, which the Steam Deck is a little bit different because yes, it has its it has a custom AMD setup, it has its own uh, RN RDNA 2 graphics processor, right? This is running Intel. This is when this is Intel XE graphics, this is an Intel processor. When this came out, the box was separate, sold separately. The keyboard was sold separately. 
But luckily for me, when the guy sold it to me, he sold it all as one kit. So that was that was what worked out for me. Apparently, he just didn't want to deal with making like reviews and stuff, and I definitely wanted to play with it. Now, I like Stardew Valley plays perfectly fine. Uh, I've been playing like Red Dead Redemption on this thing. I started playing um, Skyrim, but Skyrim runs on everything, so. It is good, but guess what? We got Hogwarts Legacy, and I started playing Hogwarts Legacy on this thing. And unfortunately, the i7, let me see what it says. It says i7 here, 1165G7 processor, 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte hard drive. Unfortunately, that processor could not keep up. In the open world aspect of the Hogwarts Legacy, it starts chugging. I even paired it because the charger that it comes with is this little 40 watt, you know, little charger. I even paired it with this GAD, the, the Anchors G A N, the GAD Nitride. 140 watt charger just to make sure that it has enough power with a PD power of 100 watt cable and raise the TDP if, if that makes any sense so the total wattage that it could use up to 35 watts which on a regular basis this thing uses like 10 to 12 watts and then turbo it uses 28 watts I boosted it up to 35 watts and I could, I could not get it to play smoothly in the open world area. When you go into a dungeon, it's beautiful. It, it, it flows and like set to like medium graphics and everything on a handheld. The Steam Deck played on plays at low graphics, everything low, plus a custom Proton engine, right? So. And then everything's pre cached blah, blah, blah. So when one netbook announced that they are releasing an Ryzen 7 6800U with a custom, well, not custom, with their, what is it, 680M AMD graphics card built into the similar form factor, I, I jumped on. So what came in the mail today directly from the manufacturer this time no second hand I got on right at the beginning I'm sorry I couldn't be one of the prototype testers I kind of wish I was big enough to do that but I, I'm not so this was definitely sponsored by uh, my wife's good grace so thank you best idea because since I was doing this and I was going to do it right, I went and got the best one, of course. So this is our... Nice. <laughs> this is our unboxing of the One X Player 2 6800U. Ryzen 7 processor own graphics card and what's kind of cool about getting on it at the beginning is when you're a contributor and you make your quote unquote donation it's not, it's not a donation you're, you're investing your investment um, you don't pay tax they don't tell you there's no sales tax <laughs> so this case is a lot thicker than the original one. I have the original one. So as we can see here, oh, well, maybe not. Maybe they're about the same. I feel like the new one is thicker than the old one. I feel, yeah, that's definitely thinner. Look at that. So this is the new one. But width-wise, or length-wise, they're about, oh no, I was going to say they're about the same, but actually if I line them up, we can see 
the new one peeks over the old one. So it's actually longer. Interesting. It's actually longer. So it's thicker and it's longer. Okay, anything else in here? Nope. Some bubble wrap. And then, ooh, even the box is different. All right, let's get, let's get this out. Ooh, it's nice and thin though. Nothing else in the box. Wow, not even an invoice, nothing. Like, here we go. Not even like a, a thank you for your contribution. A thank you for making this possible. Uh, thank you for your support letter. Nope, none of that. It's just a straight up, look at that. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty nice. Hard gaming computer for hardcore gamers. Now that is a difference from that one. This is the original box right here. With the computer fitting right inside, just like that. And this little ribbon to pull it out. That was, this is the original. And then this sits right in there like this. And then that was it, like that. Now, with this new one, it's a very long box. Just as about as thick, so you can see that. And it's just definitely dual layer design. So let's go ahead and open it up. I have my bench made here. It says 1x player, AMD Ryzen 7 6800U, 32 gigs of RAM. <gasps> yeah, that's it. I did get the 32 gigs. 32 gigs of Windows 11. Already pre-installed. This one came out when Windows 10. And technically doesn't meet the requirements for Windows 11. But I'm going to work with this one. No, I'm not. I'm not even gonna waste my time with this one. I'm gonna end up selling this one and just sticking with this new one. Um, and the 8.4 inch screen, so same screen, it's the 2K screen, uh, 1X player, two, and this is a two terabyte model. So it has all the information right here. Manufacture date, 2-24-23. It was built, what, 16 days ago? 14 days ago? Here we go. From 14 days ago, from the factory to our desk, is here. Enjoy my time anywhere and anytime. Oh, geez. So it does have a little letter thing. I don't, I don't, I don't have nails, so I can't like grab it from the edge. Hang on, I gotta use a knife. There we go. <gasps> Ooh, wow. So I chose the white one because I have, I have the the black one for the One X Player one. So I chose the white one for here. So here is the screen. This is the actual computer itself. This is the computer. This, these are the controllers. So they went with the same design as a Nintendo Switch in that they made the, I'm not gonna call them Joy-Cons because they're not Joy-Cons. 
They do not operate on their own independently. Uh, these are definitely detachable controllers. There they are. Because they don't have any... I, from what I understand, they don't have any mechanics in them. They don't have any... Um, there's no like Bluetooth built into this. They use pogo pin connectors. So that's what this is here. These pins attach to the side of the computer and that's how it makes connection in onto the player. So it's not wireless. You can't like use them independently. So that's the right one. Here's the left one. feels nice though that feels super smooth yeah. oh my god and even the resistance on the on the joysticks themselves now just to compare here put this back in here because they follow the Xbox controller pattern this real quick. So just to compare, I actually have my Xbox Elite controller right here. So this is the Xbox Elite controller and just pushing on this. Okay. And then going back to this one, pushing on this one. Oh yeah. So this one feels just a lot more hollow, but hmm. No, there's definitely more resistance on the sticks themselves. Yeah, just in general, there's more resistance on the actual controller than there are than there is on these. But they're super lightweight. They're almost they, they feel hollow. They feel absolutely hollow. Interesting. Okay, and then here we have the charger. Oops, I already ripped the box. <gasps> Oops. Ooh, that feels heavy. Ooh, that, that is heavy. <gasps> Ooh, that's heavy because that's expensive. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Oh man, did they just... This is five times 20, 20. Oh my God, I just went brain dead for a second. So this is uh, <laughs> five times 20. Uh, No, it's a hundred, hundred watts, a hundred watt charger. So, where is, where did I put it? This almost looks just like the Anchor's 140 watt charger. Almost. Hmm. Maybe not. But 100 watts compared to the 40 watt that the original came with. That is a big improvement right there. That's nice. So that's definitely gonna give it the power that it needs for when you're putting in those gaming hours. Same thing, braided cable. Does this one say one on it? <gasps> oh, they skimped that on the cable this time. Nope, it just has a serial number. At least the other one was pretty and it said one. This one doesn't even say anything. Wait a minute, I feel like I'm missing something. Something is not here. Hmm. Okay, let's see. If it, all right. Moment of truth, or the big, the big part, ooh. Wow. That is, that is a bigger boy. That is, uh, that's got some weight. Oh, man. 
and I am definitely <gasps> what? Oh, those people! They did chip us for something, and I'll and I'll explain it in just a, in a minute. But there is something missing. So this is the piece de resistance. But look at this. This is the piece of resistance right here. This is the big boy. We're gonna go ahead and open it up. Oh, I can hear it. And uh, the reason I like this one is because it actually kind of reminds me of a stormtrooper. Stormtrooper white. <sighs> wow. And then we take these. And you. Oh no, you don't even slide them in. Ooh, that was nice. Hang on, let's, let's hear that again. Because that was actually nice. Kick it in and. Ooh. That's actually pretty tight. I was. Oh, it's got a little wiggle to it. But it's definitely not, okay. It's definitely not like loose. But if you like force, I mean like, I, I can imagine if you're like getting like super into a game and you're like kind of twisting at it, you might feel it, but I don't think so. So it's got an SD card slot, it's got a USB-A, USB-C, it's got a headphone jack, it's got the turbo button. I'm guessing this is the volume rocker, volume, uh, volume down. And I think that's a power button which and then it has a USB A on the bottom. Oh, and they did they do it? They did, didn't they? They changed the keyboard. So I don't think I can use the same keyboard as the One X Player 1 on the One X Player 2, and I did not bother ordering it even though no, I don't think I need it, but let's see. Because anyways, with like a good enough dock, you can definitely just plug in like a keyboard. Like I have one of my little minis, the 60s, 60 percenters. But here we go. We're going to turn it on for the first time. Ooh, if you can't see it, maybe the lights are overshadowing, but it has this beautiful orange glow to it. Oh, I think the lights are too bright, but the white on orange looks great. That's one thing that the original One X player does not have. It doesn't have this like RGB coloring. It's really flat, but this one has orange around here, orange around here, and then these little orange accents right here. Oh, right there, maybe you can see it a little bit better like this. Official stickering, Ryzen 7, Harman, audio EFX, so Harman tuned speakers already loaded with Windows 11. And one of the greatest things about this thing is it is 100%. To set up your device using a screen reader, turn on narrator by pressing Windows plus control plus it's enter. Touch what country? United States. Keyboard. US. Yes. No. Ooh. It wants me to connect to Wi Fi. Now, okay. This is one thing I'm going to test because it has the same five dots for the pogo pin connector just doesn't have the little slots to support it so i wonder if i just rest it on there will it work <gasps> it does 
Okay, hang on. Let me let me set this up real quick. But absolutely hilarious. The original keyboard works with the new one. The only thing is it has these little these little connections points here. But unfortunately, here on this new one, they're a lot tighter. They're a lot closer together, so they don't align. And what I'm guessing this might be, these might be exhaust grills, but they also might be speaker grills, which they actually might look like they might be speaker grills. Um, and that's where the old one would line up at. Oh, and it has auto rotation. So it can even detect rotation. Um, so the keyboard actually works. What marketing, man. Get you to buy all the little accessories over again. Oh, it's setting up. I'm gonna have to go through like a big setup, make sure I put my Steam account on here and everything. Oh, darn, I knew this was gonna happen. But this is it. I'm gonna install Steam. I'm gonna download uh, Hogwarts. We're gonna play some Harry Potter. But for now, I'm just gonna let it do its thing and we will- Look at this, it is beautiful. White with the orange. It looks so smooth with Windows 11. Windows 11 looks incredible on this thing. I, I definitely wanna get Windows 11 up and running on the original Win X player. Um, let's check out the specs real quick. Let's go to the about page. And it's the One X Player 2. Device name is One X Player 2. Um, AMD Ryzen 7 6800U with Radeon graphics. 32 gigs of RAM. Running 64-bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When in Windows 11 Home Edition. Eh. That's not bad. See. And this one should have a, go to this PC, and we have a, wait a minute. This is supposed to have a two terabyte hard drive. Single, single hard drive. But as I can see here, this has two one terabyte. It looks like partitions. That, and let me find out if it's truly one two terabyte or is it two one terabytes? And we have, there's, there's our answer. There's the answer. It's one, it's one drive that is, has two partitions. This partition doesn't need to be here. I don't need this. That's a, that's that's one terabyte of data that could be one block. All right, that's one thing I'm gonna change immediately. That doesn't need to be there. <laughs> Other than that, we can see that it is one two terabyte drive. The screen itself, I don't know, maybe it's just because it's new, maybe because I haven't like taken a cloth to it yet, but it does have kind of like a little stickiness to it. It's not as smooth, um, but maybe over time that whatever that glossiness is, it'll come off and it'll make it nice and easier to touch. Is this working or not? Oh, it is working. There it is. <gasps> That's the one. So I'm set to 15 watts TDP. GPU frequency default, uh, CPU max turbo on, yes. Fan speeds at 30%, vibration settings are on, resolution uh, 2560 by 1600, that's 2K resolution. Um, one key run, what is that? Oh, that's the hardware info and, oh, so they, they straight up did that. Brightness and volume is there. Oh, it even has a little battery and time indicator. Is it really? No, it's not. I was like, is it really 7.30 a.m.? What happened to me? That is not the time. No. Oh my gosh. I, wow. I'm honestly just, wow. 
I can't believe it. <laughs>